so initiation complex yes this is 30s right i will make it here what is this 30s and smaller subunit of ribosome and here is your what is this yes messenger rna 5 prime and 3 prime and and here should be a transfer rna right this codon is from where the protein synthesis initiates this codon is called that it is initiating the protein synthesis how does it initiate that it will bind with such a transfer rna which is having this codon will bind with such transfer rna which is having which is carrying a special type of yes what is this special type of amino acid which is called formoyl methionine methionine right amino acid right formyl methionine amino acid now this amino acid right along with its, its transfer rna right is matching with this it's called anticodon of transfer rna and codon of this messenger rna they are matching so it means up to now how many things we have for initiation complex we are having 30s subunit number one number two are what we are having what is this messenger rna and number three what we are having yes transfer rna carrying formyl methionine methionine right these are three things and fourth thing is that it is also having uh, some other factors which we can call it suppose th these factors here we call it initiation factor there are multiple factors these are initiation factor so what really happens that initiation complex until it is not formed until initiation complex is not formed process of translation cannot move forward and cannot go to the stage of elongation of peptide chain right so this is initiation what is this complex so if i say what is initiation complex initiation complex that is equal to what yes 30s ribosomal subunit plus there should be messenger rna stabilized on it plus yes formyl methionine amino acid plus initiation factors if all these things are there one two three and four and there are a few more things but for basic purpose these four, four components if they are assembled we say now initiation complex is formed now the big boss will come who is the big boss 50s now the big boss is coming big big boss is big subunit of ribosome that is 50s ribosome so what will happen 50s ribosome now again i will repeat it here what is this now you will name it 30s subunit rapidly rapidly yes what is it messenger rna, messenger RNA. and what are these things codons and what are these things anticodon with transfer rna and here is methionine formal methionine right now this is what is this initiation complex with some initiation factors one only then when these four things initiation complex is formed then the big boss will come and big boss is yes 50s ribosomal subunit right only then 50s will come over here yes now big boss is happy that before i reach my office before i reach to the workstation everything is ready junior junior staff is there yes script is there what to do and there is a signal and initiation for initiation process at least 
formal methionine is present with initiation factor right so now 30s plus what is this 50s both of them together right along with messenger rna and other component this whole group is called yes how many s 30 plus 50 will make how many s 70s it will not make 80s the both of them when they are together it is 70s ribosomal unit which is called functional ribosome now it is really functional ribosome because now it will start adding repeatedly more and more what uh, amino acid uh, elongation process will start hold on i will tell you how the elongation process work but yes. question is that 30 plus 50 should should make 80 why it is making 70 let me tell you first you should know what is this s s is s is swedberg unit what is it s is swedberg unit these are the unit right which determine what is the rate of sedimentation of ribosomes in a centrifuge at a spec in a specific way we don't need to go into detail when ribosomes or their smaller subunit or larger subunits are centrifuged what is the rate of sedimentation right that is measured in that is determined by the molecular weight of the ribosomal unit and also by the mass and some other factors right so actually 30s is a smaller unit and its sediment it rate of sedimentation is slow right so 30s but 50s is a bigger unit so its rate of sedimentation is more but when they are alone this is sedimenting at the rate of 30 Swedberg unit this is sedimenting at the rate of 50 Swedberg unit but if you add together they as a when they unite together 30s plus 50s they sediment at 70 Swedberg unit right so that is why it is called remember don't confuse it that add 50 to 30 and don't make it 80 subunits right it is 70 subunits and this we are talking about what what kind of ribosomes bacterial ribosomes or prokaryotic ribosomes is that right now once this functional 70s ribosome is made i want to go into detail of some of their functional domains right let me draw it here i will draw here now by now by this time you must know what is this yes 30s subunit and what is here 50s subunit and what was here yes this is this uh, this is messenger rna and here it is having three triphosphates at five prime end and here it is not poly a tail because poly a tail poly at an end tail is present in what in eukaryotic so whatever is there we just call it three prime unit now and of course now we come to the functional when both of them assemble together 30s plus 50s so we are showing here 70s subunit right uh, so complete ribosome 70s which is busy in translation now what are its different functional domain right let me show you there are one functional domain remember making peptide chains they make it very fast you know in one second once initiation process is little slow but once initiation complex is made and then 50 has come the process goes very rapidly in one single second many many amino acids are added it's just like as ape is running on messenger rna right so this is ape business ape business means a p e it is a p e ape what i mean by this a and p and a e let me tell you actually there are three functional domain right 
this is a site then another site after that is called p site then another site after that is called e site now these sites these are functional sites right and a site p site and e site they mostly they are contributed by the 50s sub unit and little part of 30s unit is also involved right now what is what these sites are exactly doing and there's one more site just a minute just a minute one more site i will tell you uh, there's a little tunnel also here we'll talk about that later there's a tunnel also here now these are three special sites right a site why we call it a site 